one of the most popular Thai street food, som tam or green papaya salad. But since I'm currently not living in Thailand, and in case some of you might not have a mortar and pestle like me, today I'm gonna be showing how to make it. No mortar, no pestle, no problem. Hi guys, it's Pam again from Thai Curry the Kitchen. Lovely to see you here, and if you're new, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's start. There are so many recipes for som tam, som tam pla ra, som tam laos, etc. Today we are making som tam thai and of course we're gonna need a green papaya. I believe you can get it from an Asian supermarket, but I used to use kohlrabi when I couldn't find green papayas. Tastes pretty much the same and much cheaper than green papayas overseas, so this one is the alternative, just in case. Tomato Long green beans, this is the type I can find, but traditionally in Thailand we use this species. Crispier and I recommend to use this if you can find them. Carrot, just a little bit to make it colorful. You can leave it out too if you want. Some peanuts. A garlic or two. Thai chilies, as much as you want. Lime, enough for two tablespoons. Palm sugar. Fish sauce and dried shrimps if you like. I love it, but cannot find it here yet in Cape Town, so I cannot put them. If you've seen some of my videos before, you know I do actually have my cute little mortar, but it's a traveling size, cannot make some thumb with it. But that's okay. Let's grab some bag, and we can pound chilies and all those in it. And we're gonna need a mixing bowl. Cut the long green beans into around 1 inch. Sorry, I'm making you become short green beans. Peel the garlic. Oops, almost dropped the phone. Put all this into the plastic bag. And you can use anything handy to mash them roughly. I'm using the rolling pin. Just roughly like this. Then peel the green papaya and wash with water. To make it into small slices, you can either use the julienne peeler or just finely chop, chop, chop like how we do in Asia. Chop it deep enough so we can slice the fine pieces out like this. Be careful your hands though. Mixing with a little bit of shredded carrot to make it colorful. And if you like your papaya crispy, put them in iced water for about 5 minutes. This is what we normally do in Thailand. It's not like I came up with this. And during that, let's make the seasoning. 2 tablespoon fish sauce. Two tablespoon lime juice, one tablespoon palm sugar, and stir until the sugar melts. And put the mashed garlic, chili, and green beans. And mix them up. Slice the tomato. And our papaya should be ready. Drain them in colander and pat them dry a bit. Then just put everything we prepared in the mixing bowl. And just mix them up. Squeeze them by hand as normally we mash them with a pestle. Then we add tomato and peanuts.
and our song tam thai is ready to serve. It's gonna be a good combo having it with grilled chicken and sticky rice. I also put the link of how to cook sticky rice in microwave in description. It would take only half an hour to cook and you can check it out later if you want, along with some other menus you might be interested. So if you like this video, please leave me a thumb up. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you again next recipes. สวัสดีค่ะ